Hey everybody, Nathan James here, and I just got back from seeing uh, Suicide Squad at the Alamo Draft House here in Austin. So, uh, I'm going to do my little quick review now. I'm going to try to do it quickly because I've tried it several times already. I saw this movie at 4.30 today, and uh, I don't know, when I got out of it, it was like 7 or, I don't know, 6, 6, 7, yeah, and um, I tried to review it several times, and my phone kept telling me, it kept stopping and telling me it was full, so I had to wait until I got home, clear the phone, because I don't have a camera yet, so here we go, I'm going to try it one more time, hopefully uh, it won't stop on me, also, I'm very tired, I haven't slept much this week, and I went to work today, and then went straight to the movies, so yeah, I'm going to do my best, guys, I'm tired, but... I had a lot of fun at this movie, so there you go. Go see it. <laughs> no, okay. Um, as always, before I do a, a comic book review, a uh, comic book movie review, I want to say, huge comic book reader, but not so much superhero stuff. Um, I grew up reading Star Wars and Disney and Indiana Jones. Um, I love superheroes. I love superheroes from cartoons and movies and TV. And that's how I know these characters. Um, I've read some of their graphic novels at random, especially recently. I, I recently read Killing Joke, which I do want to talk about that movie a little bit at the end of this review. Um, I haven't seen it yet. I just want to say a few things based upon some stuff I heard, but uh, if I remember. <laughs> but um, the Bruce Timm animated shows, I've said this before, that's my main favorite thing with DC. I mean, when I was like five years old, I was obsessed with the Christopher Reeve movies and all that, but, and the 60s Batman show reruns. But yeah, that, that animated stuff from the 90s and early 2000s, I love that. So, uh, and that's where Harley Quinn comes from. So, I have a good background with Harley Quinn. I know the Joker. I know um, Killer Croc. I know Amanda Waller, basically. Um, some of the others I've just heard their names before or I've just seen them in little bits in other other programs and stuff but uh, so yeah I'm, I went into this with that kind of history so I'm not gonna be the stickler that some comic fans will be I don't know all the details about a lot of these characters some of them I don't know at all so that's how I went into this and having said that I really enjoyed it um, the main thing about this movie is that the cast had a great chemistry and they were all great performers and the characters they did them excellent um but maybe like one exception that i would say is that maybe i just wanted him to have more development and to be bigger and that would be killer croc who i really i don't even know who play, played killer croc but i really wish they had gotten vin diesel for that i don't know how old vin diesel is now or anything like that but i uh, i think he he would be a great killer croc but anyway um and uh i don't know that that character was i don't know he, he wasn't totally working for me he looked really cool as far as the details but his size they gave him this big head and it made his body look tiny it was weird but other than that i loved all the other characters some of them could have gotten a little bit more development a little more backstory but when we meet them through the course of the film they they bond and they they grow as characters and i thought that was really cool and it's just a really fun movie it's a big it's a fun action movie a um a you know a, a dirty dozen uh expendables thing so um there's not a lot you know spoiler alert the villain is one of them or intended to be one of them and that's um let me go into the plot really quickly amanda waller is a government agent who always likes to do shady stuff you know in the best interest of the country and the world and everything and so she gets this group of super villains together to uh to be there when she needs them she'll manipulate them to help her uh fight even worse villains or heroes gone bad or whatever so and then it turns out that what she needs them for is uh one of the intended suicide squad and that's uh enchantress who I, i'm not super familiar with the character and she looked really cool at first and then in the climax she was kind of weird and they didn't really develop well 
we didn't spend enough time with that character or something. I don't know. They, it just it seemed like a weak villain, but with a lot of potential. Uh, but and, and then also the actress kept reminding me of Christina Ricci, which made me wish they had gotten Christina Ricci. And that's not to say there was anything wrong with the one they got, but I don't know. There were some things about that character that were a little weird. But um, yeah, besides that, everybody else was amazing. Uh, Will Smith was amazing. That character was one of my favorite Will Smith characters already, Deadshot. Um, a character I never cared too much for before, but uh, when I had seen him in, in a few animated things, a few live action shows, um, Harley Quinn was phenomenal. Harley Quinn, and that was like, her butt was unbelievable. I, I, not to take anything away, no disrespect. Amazing acting, amazing. The character was fantastic, but wow, that was that was quite a butt. Uh, <laughs> um, the Joker. I thought Jared Leto did a pretty good job. Um, you know, I don't love the look of this Joker. I don't, you know, and I don't love Harley having tattoos, prison tattoos all over, but. Um, I'm not a big tattoo fan on the ladies. That's just me. I just don't. I, I prefer skin. Um, but yeah, uh, they did an amazing job, I thought. I didn't have any trouble with this Joker. It was different. It was a little weird that he actually cared about her. Uh, but, you know, it wasn't an unacceptable take. Uh, and, and, you know, this movie had a lot of light, lightheartedness, a lot of humor. I mean, it was dark, it was gritty. It fits with the others, but so much better. So much more like the Marvel stuff. I really liked this one. I like the direction that it takes everything. I hope the next movies, I think Wonder Woman's going to be amazing. I think Justice League's going to be amazing. I know this one's not getting good reviews. That worries me. And that's sad because this is just a fun movie. It's just a movie to go have fun with. It's like a grindhouse-y kind of a thing, you know? Uh... And uh, Katana was was pretty cool. Um, who else? Uh, Diablo. He he ended up being more important than I would have thought, and it, it was really cool. He was a really cool character. Uh, who am I? Who am I missing? Um, Rick Flag is a major character. Um, he's in love with the villain, and he's trying to save her because she's a good person, but she's like possessed by this witch. And uh, yeah, he was cool. It was just, it was just great. All, every the way everybody played off each other. Um, Captain Boomerang was cool, and he was funny, but he was just, I mean, it, he was pretty much just there as comic relief, which was cool. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, I recommend to see this one. I'm not gonna get too. I don't have a lot of things to pick on about this. I know a lot of people have been saying, oh, it's poorly written, it's this and that. Um, I just had a lot of fun. I thought it was great. Um, it's simple. It's a simple plot, and I think that's good because after Man, uh, not Man of Steel, but um, Batman v Superman, which had so many plots going on, plots that shouldn't have been happening yet, it should have been like Justice League plots. Um, this one had one simple plot, and it went through it easily. It was just let's go fight this bad guy, save the world. You know, it was. And it, it, it did, it, it had some Guardians of the Galaxy wannabe stuff to it. Um, the soundtrack was very much, let's be like Guardians of the Galaxy with the soundtrack. And and I liked it. I mean, it was cool. I mean, it's it worked for Guardians and it worked here. Because they did it in their own way and it fit, you know? But I mean, it's obvious that they were trying to do like Guardians of the Galaxy, but it, it worked. I have no problem with that. Um, why complain about a good soundtrack, you know? With a lot of classic tunes that was cool uh yeah uh this movie i don't have a lot of complaints about this movie it was it really just came down to a few characters that could have been developed a little more uh, as far as our introductions to them we didn't really know them kind of like in batman v superman you can't really assume especially these are lesser known characters it would have been cool to know a little bit more about them they gave us the quick run through, which you get in a lot of this kind of story where you build a team together. Uh, that's one problem I had with Disney's Atlantis. They gave us a quick run through of the characters like you were gonna play a video game, which a lot of that movie felt like a video game. But this was better. Th these were um, good flashbacks that you got to see. 
and uh, with some characters though they just they spent a little they did a little bit more with them than others uh, some characters you really just got the 10 peso version some characters you got a good background on you got a pretty good Harley and Joker background I think and uh, pretty good dead shot and um, so you know that's the thing it's you got to go into it just just to have a good time and that's that's the way it was it was just it was a really good time I enjoyed it I hope it somehow turns around picks up as far as people going to see it and people liking it because it's it's a really great movie it's not a masterpiece it's just a lot of fun and uh, that's pretty much it there's not there's not much else to say I just really enjoyed it um, so go see it if you're in Austin the Alamo Draft House has pint glasses made exclusively for this movie I wanted to, usually you can buy some right there but they I guess they didn't make as many as they usually do and they said no these are these are pre-order only so they didn't sell me one uh, I usually pre-order the pint glasses this time I don't know I, I wasn't super impressed with the pint glasses but after seeing the movie I wanted a pint glass I'm gonna have to just get the rest of the action figures and be satisfied that's I enjoy that action figure <laughs> I would not mind getting the others uh, yeah um this movie had had excellent effects it was visually awesome uh, let me let me just talk about the killing joke really quickly now because that's pretty much it when you like a movie there's not a lot to, to complain about um, I'm not saying it's it's my favorite superhero movie or anything I mean they're they're villains they're not superheroes but it's definitely worth going to see I definitely recommend it if you like these characters if you saw the trailer and you thought you would like it I'm sure you will because it's better than the trailer in fact there were a couple of things I didn't like in the trailers that I don't even think they had in the movie so I, I think I think you should be pleasantly surprised um, unless you thought it was gonna be like the greatest movie ever made or something which some people might have but I don't see why anyone would see this and not enjoy themselves so that's that's my review of that I think you'll enjoy it um, so uh, the killing joke I was gonna talk really quickly about killing joke okay killing joke is uh, you know the graphic novel where the Joker basically where spoiler alert where he paralyzes Batgirl I love Batgirl I love my Batgirl and uh, in this animated version that just came out which was everybody was super excited for now everybody it's out and everybody says it's terrible I haven't seen it yet I was thinking I was gonna rush out and buy it um, money's just been really tight this month and it's gonna be like for a while um, I need to find another job because I think the office I work at as my day job I think it's closing up I think I think pretty soon everybody who works there and there's not many of us left I think we're all gonna be looking for a new job so plus I just had a an important trip I had to go on it was like a family business kind of trip uh, family matter type of thing um, and uh, I have another trip I have to go on very soon in a few weeks or, or, a, or a month and a half or whatever I don't know and so yeah money is really tight right now and I'm gonna have to sell stuff and try to raise not my awesome stuff you see back there but some stuff that I have that I've been intending to sell to try to raise some extra money because I have a few things to take care of and uh, so yeah I didn't rush out and buy the killing joke even though I really wanted it but a lot of people think it's the best graphic novel ever or whatever or the best Batman graphic novel um, I think it's good it will never be a favorite of mine because I don't like seeing Batgirl get paralyzed I don't like that they did that I don't like what I've heard about how they went about that <laughs> but um, yeah it is what it is it's very popular and uh, yeah, everybody thought it was gonna be like the greatest animated Batman movie ever and apparently the film begins with a huge extra addition to the story which is a storyline about Batman and Batgirl getting it on. Uh, apparently, Bruce Tim was behind this. I don't know how much involvement Bruce Tim had in this movie. I thought he wasn't 
Uh, I, I've heard mixed things. I guess he made this movie. I don't know. And, you know, everybody's saying that, you know, he's the one who always wants Batgirl to get with Batman. And just people just have a huge issue with this. They cannot see Batman and Batgirl getting together. I have no problem with that. I totally see that as a thing that would happen. I don't know why everybody th thinks that Batman would not get with Batgirl. Why not? Batgirl is like the hottest comic character ever. Why would you not get with her if you could? Um, I, I have no issue with this. I don't... I think other people get creeped out by stuff more easily than I do. I don't know. Um, I'm a little more pervy maybe, but... I was Batman. Uh, yeah. Batgirl. Uh, I would have made it work. That wouldn't have been a temporary thing. But then I love Batgirl. I love, but she's my favorite. So, uh, I have mixed feelings about this. But I didn't think the animation looked that good in the trailers. But you can't really go by trailers with that. Um... I don't know. Um, I'm going to see it. I'm going to get it sometime and see it. I just basically wanted to say I don't know why that bugs everybody, I guess. Because uh, that doesn't bother me. Um, maybe it wasn't well done. Maybe maybe the mo bulk of the movie wasn't well done. I, I heard that. I heard that it, I heard that if you skip that part, it's an okay movie of The Killing Joke. But it's, it's not anywhere near as good as reading the comic, which is sad and weird. Because... From the trailers I saw, it looked like it was just a direct interpretation of the comic. Just animating the comic. But apparently not. So, um, I don't know. I'll check it out at some point and I'll try to talk about it when I do. But, um, I liked the comic as far as I recognized that it was a good comic. But it's, you know, it's not my favorite thing ever. Um, and I don't like what they did to Batgirl in that story. I really don't. And you cannot get me to feel sympathy for the Joker. The Joker is a psychotic person. And it's, it's sad, it, you know, if you want to take that story as his real backstory. It's a sad story, but that doesn't excuse the stuff that the Joker does to people. So, yeah, uh, I'm not going to feel any sympathy for him. And I'm not going to be super happy about a book that paralyzes Batgirl. And as far as Batman and Batgirl getting together, I would do it in a heartbeat. So I don't have any problem with that or any struggle believing that it would happen. I mean, Batman likes to get with ladies. He does. So I don't blame him. Um, that's just, that's all I wanted to say about the killing joke. I just don't get all the hate about it. Um, but I mean, I haven't seen the movie and it might not be a good movie. But that whole issue that everybody's been talking about, I just don't get. And Suicide Squad is a good movie. So go see Suicide Squad. And, you know, I would love to hear what people think about it if you, if you went to see it. I guess most people don't like it. I'm baffled. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I recommend it. I recommend going to see Suicide Squad. So that, that's all for now. Um, Hopefully my sister and I will be doing a review soon. We haven't had a chance. Uh, I had, like I said, I had to go somewhere for a while. And she's going somewhere soon. She's going on a trip. So um, maybe we'll squeeze in a review this weekend. I don't know. We'll see. And uh, hoping to post more stuff. Talk about. I'm going to talk about my website and all that stuff. And she's got her band and everything. We've got to promote here. You'll be hearing more about that stuff. So, so long for now. Go see Suicide Squad. It's good.